Burp Bank's a nice area, you know? You always know you're in a nicer area when you see how yoga and spin class is available, you know? You wanna know how I know you're getting closer to my city? You see Cholos in 7-Eleven. You know? I'm getting a lot older, man, so I decided to help around the house, you know? Um, so, I still live with my parents, aka my roommates. But anyways, I decided to pay the light bill. Horrible fucking idea, okay? I didn't know how expensive the light bill was until now. Okay? And for the price of that light bill, I expect to see Thomas Edison himself just cranking the energy in my basement, you know? I don't know. I, uh, so now that I'm in charge of the light bill, I decided to make some changes around my house, you know? I went to, Wal <laughs> I went to Walmart the other day and I bought some candles. I put one in each room and I let them know you only get one candle a month, so you better get your priorities straight, you know? I even bought my mom a washboard so she could start hand washing it again. You wanna cook something, you better learn how to start a fire outside, you know? I don't know, man. I realize that as you get older, you start to hate a lot of shit. Like a lot of random shit. Like for example, I hate when people find out I'm Mexican. Not because I'm ashamed of my culture. But see, Mexicans, they're known to be hard workers. And I'm not. You know? And every time someone meets me, like, they expect me to go to college, or, or you probably have two different jobs. And look, man, I'm done with college. But that's because I dropped out. You know? And I don't even have one real job, to be honest. I work for a very prestige company called Lyft. I'm four wheels away from unemployment, man. <laughs> the other day they sent me a message. It was like, happy one year anniversary. That sh ruined my day. <laughs> you don't know why? Because that's not the way I read that message. The way I read that message was like, hey, loser, you've been unemployed for a whole f***ing year. Okay? Go get a real job. <laughs> You know what else I hate? I hate people that brag about their rescued pets. <laughs> Here's why. Because you don't see people brag about their adopted children, you know? Like Junior right here? Oh yeah, he's a rescue. Like you don't do that, you know? <laughs> but yet people, they feel entitled to brag about their adopted pets. And it's always the same story like, oh my God, Jackson right here? Oh uh, yeah, I found him at the pound and uh, they were gonna put him to sleep and I just, I couldn't let that happen to him, you know? He's so beautiful, he changed my life. I had to rescue him, he rescued me. <laughs> First of all, Jackson? What kind of name is that? You could've named him Bubbles, Troubles, I don't know, whatever you name a dog, you know? But you give him a human name? Does he have a job? <laughs> And he's not beautiful, man. He's missing a an eye and some teeth. Now he's anemic because you don't even feed him, right? He was way better off at the pound. <laughs> hey, come on. Then we're going to put him to sleep, huh? I don't know about y'all, but that doesn't sound that bad to me. Life is hard. If they were to offer to put people to sleep, I'd be first in life. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know what else I hate? I hate millennials. I know I'm a millennial, but I hate them. Here's why. You see, millennials, they get in one argument with their parents, you know? And then they go tweet. Oh my God. I live with toxic people. They just told you to go clean your room, okay? Look, like, this is what you do. You grab your clothes, and you put them in a basket, okay? Then you make your bed, you sweep, and that's it. That's all you do. Okay? I don't know, guys. You know who else I hate? Well, I, you know what else I hate? I hate my ex-girlfriend, okay? <laughs> the last thing she told me was, hey, I hope you never find someone like me. I was like, yeah, that's the plan, you crazy bitch. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. My name is Yusuf.